Hey everyone, so here I'm doing a question on factorization and the question here is simplify p square plus 11p plus 28 upon p plus 4. Now the asking is to simplify it means we have to solve this further. But how to do that? We cannot cancel p and p square or 4 or 28 like that. So we have to first factorize a numerator. We cannot factorize a denominator. We have to factorize a numerator. If you look at the numerator, we can apply identity or we have to use a splitting the middle term. If I have to apply the identity, let me write down the numerator first. It's a p square plus 11p plus 28. If you apply the identity like a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square, in those identity we have a a square plus 2ab plus b square. Like we have a squares at the first and the last term is a square. If you see here, p is square but 28 is not a square of any number which means we cannot use a plus b whole square identity we cannot use a minus b whole square identity even we cannot use uh, a square uh, sorry a plus b into a minus b that identity because that is equal to a square minus b square only two terms are given but in this we have a three terms so we cannot use these three identities so we have to go by splitting the middle term splitting the middle term means i have to find out a number such a way that if I multiply those two number I should get 28 um, and if I add or yeah if I add those two number or if I subtract those two number I should get 11 means here the middle the coefficient of p is 11 right and and the constant here is 28 so two numbers I have to take in such a way that if I multiply them I should get 28 and if I add them or if I subtract those two numbers I should get 11 here so how can we do it so here actually we're using a fourth identity I'm gonna just explain what is that identity it's like x plus a into x plus b I guess you have learned this this is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b so if you see here we have a b right it's like a into b and here a plus b that is why i've told you if i take a two numbers those two numbers if i multiply that is a into b i should get 28 okay if i add those two numbers i am getting a coefficient of x but here in the place of x we have given p so i should get 11 here so i'm just comparing this with this identity this is the fourth identity i hope you have learned this in place of x square they have given p square in place of a plus b that is a plus b they have given here 11 that's a coefficient of p here and here's a coefficient of x and in place of a b they have given 28 so what is a two number when we multiply that is a into b we will get 28 so 28 we get many times like 2 into 14 is 28 it doesn't go in three table it goes in four table right four sevens are 28 okay now if i take 2 into 14 if i add or subtract i'll not get 11 14 minus 2 is 12 right i'm not getting now 4 into 7 is 28 so when we're multiplying we're getting 28 if i add 4 plus 7 i'm getting 11 which is nothing but this one right so we can take those two term two numbers as a 4 and 7 so we're using a splitting the this method is called splitting the middle term all right so i'm going to use these two numbers it is 4 and 7 so i'm going to split this 11p so this will be p square plus this 11p i'm going to write it as 4p plus 7p so i'm splitting this middle term here that is 11p and the last time i'm going to write down 28 itself i'm not writing 4 into 7 if you want to write you can write down or just leave like that now i'm going to take this first two terms and i'm going to take last two terms and i'm going to take a common factor in the first two terms you can see we have a p square and we have a 4p so p is common here so if i take out p outside then in the first term from p square that is two p's are there one p is taken out one p will be left then plus from four p have taken p out so four is left again plus from next two terms we have a seven p and twenty eight so here uh, twenty eight can be written as four into seven right so seven will be common here 
okay i'm just write down i'm writing down here 4 into 7 28 can be written as 4 7 is a 28 so 7 is a common factor here so i'm going to take out 7 common out so from the first term if 7 is taken out p is left so we'll get here p and from 28 if i take out 7 i'll get 4 now again look at this expression here we have a p plus 4 p plus 4 I can take out again p plus 4 from both the terms common. So if I take out p plus 4 outside, what is left? Here p is left and here 7 is left. So plus 7. So this is how we have factorized. So this is like splitting the middle term method. When you cannot use an identity, you have to go by this method. Just look at the constant and look at the middle term. The constant should be multiple of two number and those two numbers when you add or when you subtract, you should get 11 there. Alright, so going ahead, so we have factorized the numerator, now we are going to substitute in the question. So in the question, it's like p square plus 11p plus 28 divided by p plus 4. Now in place of p square plus 11p plus 28, I am going to write down p plus 4 and p plus 7. So this is equal to p plus 4, we have factorized this, so p plus 7 divided by p plus 4. Now if you look at the numerator and denominator, we have a p plus 4 common here, we can cancel them easily. So we are left with only p plus 7, so the answer will be equal to p plus 7. That's it. So we have solved this. I hope it's clear how we have done. In case you have any question or doubts, you can leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.